that. We'll put this one up there first. These bones were first unearthed in 1992 at a construction site along the 54 freeway. And this is the physical remains of an animal that lived in our region. They belonged to a mastodon that lived here 130,000 years ago. And if we listen carefully, right, it's telling us a story. But scientists say what's truly remarkable about these bones is the evidence that they were broken apart for food and tools by early humans. It's a, essentially a new chapter in our understanding of dispersal history of humans from the cradle of human evolution in Africa, into Eurasia, and then eventually into the New World. San Diego Natural History Museum paleontologist Tom Demeray is co-author of a new paper that makes an explosive claim. Early humans lived in present-day San Diego more than 100,000 years ago. That's a huge leap from the current scientific consensus dating human settlement in North America back about 15,000 years. It's a very, very big big bold statement and, and, and I think that we have really uh, compelling evidence from a, from a variety of different uh, areas of this site that, that really support that hypothesis. If confirmed by further research, the study would show early humans living in this part of the world alongside mammoths, camels, and giant ground sloths. That's interesting in and of itself. Demeray says the fossils raise as many questions as answers. My initial reaction personally was one of awe. That 130,000 years, that's a long time uh, ago for humans to be here in North America. And, it, and then it raised interesting questions about, again, who these people were and how they got here and how long did they stay. No human remains dating that far back have been found in San Diego or anywhere else in North America, leaving many questions open to further research. David Wagner, KPBS News.